Live from the Breaking News and Weather Authority, this is WEAU 13 News at 10. Thanks for joining us. After a bitterly cold finish to this last weekend of January, it looks like Western Wisconsin could see dangerous wind chills through tomorrow morning. Skywarn 13 meteorologist Derek Dahlman is in now with the first check of your forecast. Days after police released body cam footage of officers beating at Tyree Nichols in Memphis, in the Badger State, the Party for Socialism and Liberation hosted a rally in front of Madison City Hall. As groups gather across the nation calling for justice, the attorney for Tyree Nichols' family is pushing for the president and Congress to pass, pass federal police reform. Isabel Rosales has the latest. This weekend, the Minnesota Senate passed a bill that will protect the right to abortion. President Joe Biden and Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy are expected to meet Wednesday to discuss the debt ceiling. Prices at the pump are on the rise again. Some of America's largest banks are working on a new option to compete with Apple Pay and PayPal. While hoping to keep the strikes rolling, bowlers in Eau Claire were also helping a nonprofit for veterans. WEAU's Daniel Gomez shares how the fundraiser is bringing together those who served. Today's event raised a little over $1,800. The High Ground says it doesn't have any other planned events in Eau Claire this year, but people can still donate to the organization. Tonight, two teams punch their tickets to the Super Bowl. Find out who'll face off for the ultimate title coming up in Sports Scene 13. First, how one four-year-old transplant recipient is honoring the donor who saved his life while bringing joy to other kids. A four-year-old who received a transplant is honoring his donor with a special gift, Hot Wheels. The cars and other toys are part of a donation to children's hospitals in Indianapolis and Chicago. John Doran has details. Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin is using social media to share his gratitude and appreciation for all the support he's received in his recovery. Final days of January will bring more cold air to the Chippewa Valley, but it looks like sunshine will be sticking around. Meteorologist Derek Dahlman has the details next in your Skywarn 13 forecast. Maybe back into the 20s, and I think after... The temperatures we've seen today, tomorrow, those 20s are going to feel awfully nice. Oh yeah, we'll be looking forward to that. Thanks, yeah, that's Derek. For sure, yep. Earlier today, the John Bear Grease Sled Dog Marathon kicked off in Duluth. Coming up next in Sports Scene 13, highlights from the AFC and NFC Championship games. And why a former NFL QB made the trip north to Lake Halley. Oh, chilly week ahead. Burr. Thanks, Derek, <laughs> and thank you for joining us. Have a great night.